PT. What is PT? Periodic test. So what is periodic test? When to conduct these tests and how to conduct these tests and how to get out of five from these periodic tests. So if you are interested to know all these things, then this video is only for you. So I am Kadambini and I welcome you all to this channel Kadambini Srishti. So today we are going to discuss all about all about uh, periodic test. So let us start quickly. Academic session 2021 and 22, there will be six assessments, four formative assessments and two submittive assessments. Now the question is when we will have to conduct these examinations. So formative assessment one in the month of September, two in November, submittive assessment one in November and formative assessment three in January and formative assessment four in March and finally the submittive assessment two in April. So these are the time schedule. Next comes how much weightage will be given to which assessment. So formative assessment will be given 20% weightage and submittive assessment one 30% and last the submittive assessment to 50% weightage will be given. Don't misunderstand it. So we think 20 marks questions we have to prepare for formative assessment. No, so many things are involved these days means in this new scheme of assessment for formative assessment. Now let us see what are those. Now the next thing is what is formative assessment and what are the different elements that are involved in this formative assessment. This one is the pictorial representation of the formative assessment easy to understand. In this new scheme of assessment which is also known as the CCE continuous and comprehensive evaluation in this process in this academic session in formative assessment we have four parts and total 20 marks. So for each of these uh, elements means for periodic test we have only five marks and for multiple assessment only five marks for portfolio again only five marks and subject enrichment again five marks. So I have made videos for portfolio and for subject enrichment activities. What are these? How to do and how to give marks to our students. Now comes what is periodic test. It is also we can say the unit test. So as per the board's instruction, five marks we have to give for each in each FA means in each formative assessment we have to give five marks for periodic test or which we can say the unit test so board says that after every unit after each unit we have to conduct a, a small test which is known as the periodic test but we have to count marks out of five here is the board's instruction which says periodic test will be conducted in each subject and total marks in all subjects to be converted out of 5 marks for each FA. These are some of the important instructions and points that we should know about periodic test which will help us a lot. I think there are two ways. Either we can conduct exams out of 20 every time and finally at the end of all those tests we have to uh, find out out of five that is somehow difficult so i have found out one trick what is that we can conduct four small tests out of five out of five means at the end of every chapter we will have a test only out of five and then at the end we can find the average and that will be also from 5 and that is easy to count. So let me tell you, here I am going to explain before you what are the two methods we can adopt for periodic test in formative assessments. As per the board rule, we have to conduct at least 4 unit tests. So this one is the first unit test that is out of 20 and the child secures 11. Then second also the total mark is 20 and the child gets 12 mark. Likewise in third out of 20 15 and in the fourth out of 20 10. So total the child secures 48 marks. So how to convert this out of 5? So 
So that means the child gets 48 out of 80. So out of 5, the child will get 48 by 80 into 5. So if we will calculate, then we can get um, 16. So here it is 3. So the child secures 3 marks out of 5. In this second method, the total mark is 5. So in first unit test, the child secures 4 out of 5, in second 5 out of 5, in third 3 out of 5 and in fourth again 4 out of 5. So total 16 marks. Again we can calculate it like this. Suppose 16 out of 20. So how much out of 5? So 16 divided by 20 into 5. So this becomes 5, 4 and here it is again 4. So the child gets 4. Also we can calculate this in a different way. We can find the average. Average means 16 divided by 4. So total 4 marks. This can be one of the easiest method to calculate the periodic test mark out of 5 if we conduct exams, very small exams only from out of 5. So whichever you will feel comfortable, you can do it. Both are correct and both can be done for our students. Hope you have got some idea about periodic test. So if yes, then give a thumbs up and if you have still some doubt, then you can ask me using the comment box. Okay, have a nice day. Thank you.